year. I'm just wondering how you sort of felt you adapted and just what you guys were able to accomplish. Yeah, it, uh, obviously uh, exciting getting traded here and then having the opportunity to play in the playoffs. Obviously, we're not you know happy with the, with the way it ended. And, you know, I think we all still want to be playing, but that's that's how it is. I think it's uh, you know for everybody, it's it's, it's a learning process. You, you take those. Uh, and, and you try to learn from it and uh, use it in the past and just let it make you stronger. What was the thing you enjoyed most maybe about playing in this system, playing with these players in particular? Yeah, just a very talented group, um, just the character too. I thought, uh, you know, the way the team uh, stuck together, um, you know, we're down against the Rangers in the series and we battled back and just, uh, yeah, just the tightness of this group and, uh, you know, how everybody, you know, including staff and medicals and all that everybody just uh, works together it's uh, it's a fun fun uh, fun environment team obviously this summer is going to be a negotiation for you any early thoughts on that and, and just uh, how much you liked it here if you'd like to come back. yeah I mean it's uh, you know it's fresh fresh after um, our loss and you just kind of you know want to take a couple couple days and obviously it's uh, yeah it's not it's not a great feeling being out but um, then you just gotta, yeah, empty your head a little bit. Um, you know, take a take a week, two off, and, and then obviously there's some, yeah, some conversations that are gonna be in, the, you know, decide the future. So yeah, that's gonna be a, a topic this summer for sure. But as of now, you know, just kind of, uh, yeah, reflect on, on on the season and and, and look at the stuff. Yeah. Are you joining Jonas and uh, Nico at the Worlds? What's that? Are you joining Nico and Jonas at the Worlds? No, no, I won't be. I won't be going to Worlds. Timo, I know it was a bit of an adjusting uh, period coming from San Jose to New Jersey, especially with the amount of talent that's uh, on the roster in Hughes, Heischer, and Brad. Uh, I just wanted to ask you, how do you feel like your skill set was uh, utilized as the year progressed? Because sometimes we saw you on the top six, sometimes we saw you on the third line. Uh, series against the Rangers, you were very physical. Then this previous series against the Hurricanes, you're scoring us and point production started to show so I, w I was just curious to hear your thoughts how did you think you fit in uh, during the course of the season yeah um, those we, we got a lot of guys with you know everybody in this room is uh, super super skilled speed and I think I bring a little bit more of like the the physicality um, you know a guy that uh, likes to be in front of that obviously uh, shooting first uh, player so I think uh, yeah especially the, the physical part and just getting in front of that and creating room for uh, all these guys that are super good at uh, you know turning and getting rolling off guys. Timo, where, where, where are you training this summer? I'm gonna be uh, back home. So I've been uh, yeah since I came over from Switzerland playing junior league. I've been always going home and, and working out at home. So uh, it's nice to nice to be around family and friends and got my trainers there and that uh, always helped me to prepare for the season. Did, did you like enough of what what you saw in New Jersey to you know strongly consider? You know, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely definitely a nice place, and like I said, you know, great great group of guys, uh, great great staff, and everybody. So uh, definitely, uh, yeah, it's it's a nice place for sure. What was your favorite moment from the season as a New Jersey Devil? Well, I think uh, winning Game Seven against the Rangers, um, moving on to the to this to the second round, and uh, yeah, I mean it was. Uh, yeah, ups ups and downs, uh, just like uh, any season, and it's kind of uh, nice nice to go through these. And like you said, um, tight group that everybody has each other's back, and and that's 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 the best thing to to come in and, and go to work like that. I know you just uh, talked about uh, the possibility of re-signing uh, with, with the team, and um, I just want to ask, like, what are your expectations uh, come next season if, if you do remain in a devil sweater? Yeah, um, like I said, there's uh, definitely going to be conversations, and you know this team uh, definitely we're uh, heading in the right direction. And if you look at the the progress from from last year, um, being being in the playoffs, uh, second round playoffs, I think uh, that's uh, it was a quick turnaround, and it just kind of shows the the skill and, and the talent of this group. I'm sure Tom Fitzgerald sold you on it when he traded for you, but what's the importance of Possibly, you know, having the practice rink here attached to the main main rink, the travel isn't as bad. Is that all a part of the thinking process, the thought process, and you know where you want to be? Yeah, it's a hundred percent. You know, that travel, uh, it's it's easier here than uh, you know I had it before. And the practice rink right here, it's definitely a, you know a really nice setup. And like I said, great uh, great people. Everybody you know has been treating me so well. So uh, yeah. 
it's definitely uh, it's, a, it's a great place. And what would you like about Lindy Ruff and his approach to the game and how he was able to get you guys to where you, you know, finally ended up? Yeah, he's, uh, you know, straight up, uh, He's he's been around for... For a, for a long time, and he's got you know plenty plenty of experience. So it's definitely uh, nice to have a coach that shares that experience and just you know the way he uh, holds himself in, in, in certain moments. And you know, looking at playoff series like when we were down uh, two two nothing, and he, he just found found ways to to get the team prepared and, and yeah, just uh, get us ready and and, and and fired up for games. You suffer more than a broken nose in that hit. What's that? Did you break your nose, and was there anything more? Um, no, I just broke my nose. Yeah, no, the the injury I had was something before, so uh, where I missed the game. So yeah, just a broken nose. And how did the cage, the full, did that affect you at all? The full, the half shield, then cage. I mean, it's it's definitely uh, you prefer the visor. Um, it doesn't doesn't help the vision. But at this uh, point, you know, I was I was trying to get out of the fishbowl, but they they wouldn't let me. So. Just had to grind it through, and yeah, just kind of for safety reasons, I guess. And uh, yeah, but took a little time to get used to. But yeah, you try to make the best out of it. What are some of the areas this offseason that you're going to try to improve on uh, come the new year? Everything. I always try to go back and 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 just you know you look at stuff in you know, the hockey part, but also the physical part where you uh, you want to put in the work in the gym. You want to get faster, stronger. Um, you know, with the, the pace this game's played at, I think. You know, for for me, it's it's always a big a big thing going back in summer, putting in the work, because that's that's where you get your confidence to start the season. And I think I'm a player that relies on uh, yeah how I how I work out in gym and how I prepare myself in, in the summer for the season. Feels like a lot of things and you know players kind of came together at the right time for this group this year. And then obviously you coming along in the trade was was part of that. How much do you identify with this group as maybe being the right thing for you at this point in your career um, and the direction, the maturation that this team has right now? Yeah, it's uh, you know it was nice for me to come in. Obviously, a new new situation for me, being tra- traded the first uh, first time, and just uh, yeah, experienced that all of that, and uh, yeah, so it was fun. The guys made it made it easy for me to, to fit in, and, and I was yeah, they were very welcoming. So, uh, yeah, like I said, a great, great group and just, yeah, so many weapons. Um, I think uh, if you look at the seasons some of these guys had uh, this year, just kind of shows what, um, you know, what, what player there are in this room. So I think that's that's a great, great thing. you see long-term success here for this team? Yeah, uh, 100%. Uh, all the guys, you know, you look at their age and what they've already done. Um, I think uh, that's why it's so, you know, those those failures that you have now, um, you know, losing in the second round uh, the way we did, it's, it's got to make you stronger and uh, that's that's experience if you use it the right way and just going to, yeah, let it make you stronger. With San Jose, you probably saw highlights of, of Jack, Jack Hughes there, but as a teammate, did, was there anything at all that kind of exceeded your expectations, what you thought about him as a player? Yeah, I mean, the way he, he played in the playoffs, um, you know, really incredible he didn't he didn't shy away from anything um, we saw him I think it was uh, game game four or uh, when, when he got into it with, with Ajo too was just yeah just not not shying away playing his game and doing his thing so uh, yeah it was it was fun fun to be be around and, and yeah he's gonna you know he's still so young so um, he's gonna he's gonna get stronger he's gonna get even better so I think that's uh, yeah he's an unbelievable player